We start tonight with a resolution reached, a decision regarding the future of embattled city employee Tina Taviano. Good evening, I'm Mark Mellinger. And I'm Heather Heron. She has been on paid administrative leave since last Monday. But in tonight's top story at 6, News Channel 15's Matt McCutcheon tells us things have changed. He's going to tell us where they stand. Well, Mark and Heather, News Channel 15 was first to bring this story to you this afternoon on Wayne.com. We first learned just before 4 o'clock that a mutual decision had been reached. Then late this afternoon, we got word about what that entails. And to boil it down for you, Tina Taviano will remain a city employee, but now in a new role. Taviano will assume a position in the city controller's office, earning her same pay of $32.57 an hour. She'll be working on improvements with a new financial software system, despite not having any financial work experience other than a Bachelor of Arts degree in Business Administration, which she earned back in 1982. Now, this will be a short-term role, officials say, lasting no longer than six months. After that, it's likely Taviano will be without a city job. She had been the city's 911 communications director until last Monday when she went on paid leave. City officials still aren't releasing what prompted this change and mediation. Now, as I dug up last week, her employment record is clean with the city. And due to her old position being a senior level staff member, a formal write-up isn't necessary to remove her, all meaning the city's done a pretty good job of hiding from its citizens why they felt this change was necessary in the first place. Matt McCutcheon, News Channel 15. And in a statement through her attorney, Taviano stated that any differences regarding the direction of the communications department were, quote, minor in nature. She went on to say, I have learned to look forward, not backward. I enjoyed my tenure in the communications department, but my new assignment will allow me to expand my experience into an area that has always held an interest for me. We also have an update on another city worker. News Channel 15 has learned Fort Wayne's public information director will return to work Monday. Vince Robinson has been in the news a lot lately, all because of a restraining order filed against him by his girlfriend, Kim Wiley. Then, Robinson filed a restraining order of his own against Wiley. Now, city leaders tell us Robinson will return to work as a paid city employee. He took several personal days off during the controversy. And we